Hi homies. How are you doing today? Making a little video for you again to show you my grade one A scrumptious goji berries. They're very, very nice. They cost 11 ringgits, which is the guy gave me for 10 ringgits because he's nice because we he, we appreciate each other and we'll get on very well. Chinese man. <laughs> Chinese man is like early 50s probably, but he's got a lot of energy. He's very outgoing and friendly. <laughs> We don't communicate perfectly because he doesn't speak perfect English and I don't speak Chinese. I just know two words, Lu Hobo, which means how are you? Lu Hobo, and also Xie Xie, which means thank you. But I had another packet before this, and the reason why these are grade A goji berries is because they're fully grown, more or less, I think. They're, they're, they're bigger and they're darker or deeper color. They're redder, because the other packets may be like that, like a bit more orangey, but these are like bigger and just, they taste better. And you see, they're really nice, guys. Mm. In case you don't know, goji berries are endophagenic. They're really fantastic. They're full of carotenoids, which are in carrots, except they have way more carrots or carotenoids. Sorry for the noise. And so they're really good for your vision, your eyesight, and, and macular degeneration, preventing that, helping it as well as eyesight and I, I think for eye strain too because I've been on the computer more and from taking all of these adaptogenic herbs and goji berries a lot my eyes are better and my vision is a bit better for sure like a bit crisper outside and I, I think my, 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 my actual vision is better I can see things from far away like words on posts better but goji berries are just a phenomenal food like a longevity herb because they're full of antioxidants and they help fight against the free radicals which age us and damage us so Tasty fruit, so I don't know what else to say really. Like I really recommend like goji berries, like you can cook them, you can add them to stews, casseroles, you can use them like raisins, you can make herbal tea, you can eat them, you can add them to like your baking. I don't know what else to say really, just they're uh, I heard from David Wolf that they're number one longev number one herb in Chinese medicine, even higher than right Rishi and other herbs. So that's what he says, and he's like supposed to be an expert, and has written books on all sorts, like all sorts of stuff, like regarding health and superfoods, super herbs. Um, all I can say is they don't benefit benefit you unless you buy them. So I recommend highly getting getting the bigger ones that are darker color. They have more pigmentation and antioxidants and depth of nutrition. Try get the best quality ones generally because they do get what you pay for and. The smaller ones, the paler ones, I wouldn't go for them personally. It's much better value. Than <laughs> it only cost me an extra two ringgits compared to the other packet, of which is smaller, medium sized ones. Okay, guys, well, that's about goji berries. It's adaptogen, so it should help you to fight stress, it help your immune system, and help regulate things to bring balance and harmony in your body, as adaptogens do. And I don't know, but it probably would help your energy a bit. I don't think it's like ginseng at all for energy, but it should uplift you and give you more some good energy. Especially since it's like polysaccharide, like sugar is like good. Apparently the sugars in goji berries are supposed to be very good, even for like, I heard something like possibly like much better than a lot of other sugars for diabetics because of the way the sugars are or something. It's a great food, it's good for sports, good for activity, good for everything, just basically speaking. I probably left out one or two things, but that's all I want to say, so hope you liked the video. And this is my Dan Chen tea. <laughs> and I'll see you again. Oh, this is my corn, corn soup, Sally made, we had it in the fridge. <laughs> okay, bye everyone, have a lovely day, okay? God bless, and lots of luck to you, bye. Sweet darlings who are interested in herbs, health, and goji berries. <laughs> Just wanted to say additional ways to take goji berries are soak them in water because they're usually all dry when you buy them. And you get a lovely juice which you can drink if you want. And they put the, the, the goji berries rehydrate and they become soft and juicy instead of all like chewy and sticky and hard, uh, chewy and sticky basically from them because they're very dry um, so you probably digest them better because they're broken down properly instead of chunky 
And another benefit of the, the good old goji is that kids love them. They're a great snack. You can add them to trail mixes or just simply take out food when you're going out of the house. You have a packet or you put them in a little like lunchbox container and, and you're ready to go with loads of energy and super adaptogenic, antioxidant, abundant nutrition. Full of nutrients. Really mineral rich, nutrient rich. So that's it. Isn't that good? I'm really happy with goji berries and, and life and the God's sources, nature's gifts. Really good. So hope you enjoyed this video and I give you a thumbs up and have a good day. Okay, bye. I just wanted to say finally, I forgot to say, you can actually make a yummy little like so called soup with goji berries, but instead of using water, you use tea, herbal tea, and that's what I added, so it's like even more nutritional and more tasty. So it's like a really nice little treat. That's a really great way. <laughs> cool. <laughs>